Hi, everyone. Welcome. Dominic here with Dream Start and excited to uh, introduce you to Gene Foster. Gene is the Vice President of Operations at Stratacore. Welcome, Gene. Good to have you with us. Thank you, Dominic. It's great to be here. So here's what's fun. I have never met Jean before, and we're going to go through three of her life stories today. Um, and again, I've never heard them before. I have no idea where this is going to go, but these are usually just wonderful, usually wonderful stories. So very briefly, every dream starts with a story. Dream Start is a short live stream to meet interesting and exciting people. Join us. We're going to hear three important stories of origin, identity, and purpose. Who knows? A story could inspire you to make a difference. So, Gene, we're just going to dive right in. I want to hear a story about perhaps a, a moment in your childhood, perhaps in your early life, um, and that's your your origin story. Uh, something that, when you think back, you think that that was me. I can see now how I became the person I am today based on that moment. Is there a story like that that you can share? There is. So uh, I grew up in a family of all boys and me. So I had four brothers and a pretty conservative, uh, traditional family values type of family. And when I was seven years old, my mom was uh, getting ready to take a trip to California to visit her sister. And she was taking my younger brother with me. But for the month before she left, she was teaching me how to do laundry and bake casseroles to take care of my teenage brothers and my dad while she was gone, since uh, they obviously needed a woman to take care of them. So uh, uh, as it got closer to the trip, I, I, I just, just really firmly remember uh, feeling the injustice of this ridiculous <laughs> plan that was ahead of me, the seven-year-old, taking care of the teenagers and the father. And I expressed my extreme opposition uh, in you know, a very seven-year-old type of way. And uh, I ended up going on the trip, which was great, and had a great time. And magically, my teenage brothers and my father were quite healthy when we came home and had done their own laundry and fed themselves. <laughs> so the... So you standing up for then what you wanted uh, out of something, that's awesome. So then, okay, so then where does that take you then uh, as you move forward in life? So you've got your your story then about um, identity, a moment when you changed course in your life or career and you decided who you wanted to be. How did that origin story then influence you? Well, I think that in between then and, you know, kind of when I really decided the direction I wanted to go from a career perspective, I was a first generation college student and I, you know, I, I, I just looked around and didn't see why I would go into uh, just a job. I wanted to do something exciting and important. And um, I had seen, you know, nurses and teachers and uh, even a few female doctors, but I'd never really been around business women in the mm -hmm. culture that I grew up in. And uh, so I, but I, I always pushed forward and, and decided kind of, I was going to go to college. I, it didn't matter that I didn't have any models for mm -hmm. how to do that. Uh, I decided I was going to go to college. So I went to college and I decided the highest level of what I had seen other women do was to be a doctor. I wanted to be a doctor. And mm -hmm. then in college, I really started realizing how much I loved the business world. And I started being exposed to women in different roles and uh, seeing, you know, what the possibilities were out there. And so instead of going the direction of medicine, I got my degree in economics and uh, a focus on some international trade aspects and uh, moved into the business world and have really, really loved that path. That's fantastic. A really fun little um, thing is that I had this amazing uh, counselor in high school. He was the, he was my, the, you know, the grade, the class counselor. Mm -hmm. And he is the one who really helped me figure out college applications and all the things because nobody in my family, no cousins, no aunts and uncles, nobody had ever gone to college before. 
And so he okay. helped me through that whole process. He's the uncle <laughs> of uh, uncle in law of one of my current team members. And uh, so we recently got to connect and I got to thank him for his help. And we just, you know, through social media figured out that we knew this person in common. So that was a really fun full circle moment of mm -hmm. heading in a direction, having someone that supported me along the way and being able to thank him now uh, from where I'm at now. That's that's beautiful. Um, what do they call that? Serendipity? I think yes. good, things, <laughs> good things happen. Okay. So then, um, so you, you had this moment when you were young, where you stood up for what you wanted to do. And then, um, you then, uh, identified your, your new career or a new focus you wanted for yourself. And then as you got into it, you found you really were pulled into a, a new direction. And so then you just went and you followed that. So share with us now. Uh, the the purpose story so a story that convinced you that you're on the right path and then where you plan to keep going into the future is something happened in maybe the last couple of years yeah so what i learned over time is the part of managing uh people that i loved or, or um being a manager as i grew in my career that i loved was developing my team members and mm -hmm. really coaching them into the fulfillment of what they wanted to do mm -hmm. and uh that just brings me so much joy and being able to support them help them identify what they're passionate about mm -hmm. and to help them uh you know take the steps necessary to get there. And that has just, for years now, has been my favorite part of managing a team and helping them grow. In, and guess what? It helps me grow along the way, right? It helps right. me grow. It helps our, you know, whatever the business is I'm in, it helps the business grow because as you're developing people, it helps develop the business. And mm -hmm. it's just been such a rewarding piece. Uh, I, that has now come full circle. Uh, at the end of last year, I took on HR for a Stratacore, and uh, it just has felt like such a great match for who I am as a leader and a person. And also, Stratacore is just a phenomenal place to work. We've been on the um, Puget Sound Business Journal's Best Places to Work. That's our third year in a row. And uh, we just have a really, really fantastic culture of people who are very focused on personal and professional growth. And being in a position where I have the opportunity to foster that and support it and encourage it just feels like coming home to me, right? Because that's that's, that's what phenomenal. I love the most. And uh -huh. uh, yeah, it's just been really... Uh, it's, it's just, there's been so many great moments of not only being in a role that, and I have operations, all of operations, so not just HR, but HR is a portion of that, but being able to help support that mm -hmm. uh, has just been so life-giving for me. And also to be in a company that is so supportive of that, right? So I never mm -hmm. have to worry that when I want to do something that supports our team and helps our team grow, that mm -hmm. it's going to be frowned on as something that's, you know, not what we want to do. That's awesome. Awesome. I loved that little phrase you used right in there. You said it's so life-giving to be able to focus on this. Can uh, I'd love to hear if there are two, um, maybe little examples. Do you have a story you can share where um, you were able to empower somebody and you saw a difference that came out of that? And then is there maybe a different story or maybe the same one? What is something that you have learned that maybe has changed you uh, in, in being involved in this? Oh my gosh. I think that uh, I'm going to tackle the second question first, <laughs> which mm -hmm. is what I've learned. Uh, I, I saw a quote the other day that said, if you uh, are, you know, in your 40s or 50s and you don't have a mentor, not a mentee, a mentor who is at least 10 years younger than you, you're going to miss out on all of uh, the progression and growth uh, or elements of that that are happening in the world around us. Mm -hmm. And I just have to say that my team members who are in many cases significantly younger than I am have taught me so much. They uh, are so smart and so forward thinking and 
uh, so technologically savvy. And I just learn from them every single day. And that has been so good for me to just sit back and, you know, I'm, I'm not the expert, I'm a guide, and I'm a helper and a supporter. And they're just doing this magnificent work, right, of putting all kinds of things in place that are going to help us grow and continue to scale our company. And that is just something that I can't endorse enough, which is just listening to the people that are around you and realizing that even though I have you know, years of experience that they m might not have, that mm -hmm. they have this whole new perspective that I don't want to miss out on. That's brilliant. Um, and then I, I'm just trying to think of an example. I mean, I really, really try to lead my team by empowering them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have built a team in Latin America over the last few years. And uh, we, you know, so we've gone through the cultural differences and, and uh, just working through that has been such a learning experience. And we have several, you know, so many great team members and another place where I get to learn and, and have new perspective. And I, you know, I don't want to reveal personal stories of team members and, and, and their own challenges would, you know, highly recommend anyone to visit with them. But uh, we've just had an opportunity to expand our scope of, uh, uh, what's the word I want, just our, what we see in the world and it, to, to learn more from others who have, you know, a different life experience. And I think that piece for me is just that there's, if you can increase the diversity of your team in any way, mm -hmm. it's going to make your team stronger. And uh, that has certainly been my experience as we continue to expand our team and, uh, and work very hard to make sure that we are reflecting our, the community around us and expanding uh, our team in a diverse and sustainable way that mm -hmm. it just makes our team increasingly rich, right? Mm -hmm. And that we get this power of both, you know, age and gender and uh, culture and race, di racial diversi diversity that enriches our team and grows our company. Mm -hmm. No, that's wonderful. It makes me think of um, this, the, well, one particular insight that the wiser you get, in a way, the less you say, and the more you listen, because there's an uh, unexpected impact of somebody who does have all of the experience going and listening uh, and allowing themselves to, well, to be challenged and deepened by just other people. Uh, it's, yeah, I think that's, that's, there's different ways you can learn. You can learn, of course, through the, the head knowledge, but then you can also just learn, it sounds like what a lot of what you're doing, uh, being present to others, in, improving, or as you've said, empowering their, uh, their situations. Um, I, I'm curious, I don't usually ask, but if you had uh, a minute to share your most important or favorite message with the world, what would you say? Oh, gosh. That's a put me on the spot kind of yeah, question. No <laughs> uh, I, I think I would just go back to uh, what you just said, which is stop and listen to the people around you. Even if, I mean, I think that's something that we've seen so dramatically in our world in the last several years is that we've stopped listening as a culture mm -hmm. and we've lost the richness of diversity and thought mm -hmm. uh, because we're congregating with the people who think like us and mm -hmm. look like us. And uh, the more that we can expand our willingness to hear other people mm -hmm. and to understand their perspective and it, it's only going to enrich our own lives, and it will make our world a better place. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Jean. Um, and for those who uh, end up watching this, I hope that um, uh, if you you enjoyed it, share it with the one friend that you think would also like to see it. Um, and who should uh, be nominated next for sharing their stories? You can go ahead and DM me or, or drop a comment. Thanks again, Jean. It was wonderful to spend a little time with you and, and to hear your stories. Thanks so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. All right. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks. You too.